All right, people, welcome back to Conquer and Commander. Today we're going to be looking at my Half Dane deck in action. For the complete deck list, go to puremtgo.com. I'll go ahead and put a link in the uh, video description as well, and you can check it out. Let's take a look at our opponents. Uh, first up here is Damia, Sage of Stone. She's basically kind of like a control slash good stuff type of deck. Uh, com combines ramp with card draw with destruction. So she's good. Uh, Carador obviously is going to be um, graveyard based recursion. Uh, sometimes just value creatures, sometimes big fat stuff. We'll see. And the Corona can be just about anything. Um, five color control, pillow fort, um, tribal stuff, tokens, who knows. So uh, we'll see what happens here. I've got three lands plus Mirren Crusader and Source of Plowshares. Um, the, oh, I keep this hand mainly because I can play Shadow Mage Infiltrator on turn three. So we'll see what ends up happening here. Um, Carador starts things off. I draw Shapeshare. I can play Shapeshare on turn two and copy the Shadow Mage Infiltrator on turn three. Soul Ring for Carador. Journeyer's Kite. Um, this is a great card for like the budget five color decks. Not even budget, but just like ones that use a lot of basics. Um, I love I love Junior's Kite, so that's just me. I draw Vindicate. I've got a clone here in Sakashima. Uh, Expedition map for Damia, and she cracks her Termorphic Expanse. Kadama's Reach for Carador. So he's not having many issues right now. Uh, Corona plays Trinket Mage to go get Soul Ring, but doesn't have the mana to cast it. I attack somebody. I think Damia. And then I go ahead and play uh, the Infiltrator. Uh, Jace. So uh, he did. He did forget to play. Um, actually, use Jace or activate him, but we won't hold that against him. Diligent Farmhand. I've seen this guy used a couple times, and I always wonder if they're going to play Muscle Burst. Um, of course they're not going to, but it would be awesome if they did. Uh, so, Soul Ring for Car or Corona, and she searches up a land, a swamp, which she plays. Nothing. So I go ahead and copy my Infiltrator, so that way I can draw two cards, and I spread the love around. There's another island. I got planes. I've got all my colors. Jace turns into the party chase, and um, Damia suspends ancestral visions. Let's see here. All right, and he searches up command tower. So Carador plays flashback marauder. I'm going to get rid of the shape sharer because I don't want to have to deal with activating him all the time. Gilded Lotus, um, which is great, uh, and it's the new from the vault art, and searching up another land. I draw Phyrexian Metamorph, so first I attack, I go after Corona, and I draw another land. So I'm going to play the Metamorph at a discount. Copy of the Lotus. Copy of, or play the Crusader. And uh, the good thing is if I want, um, well I can't do it yet, but I can copy like the Crusader with Sakashima or something and then end up bouncing him with the Navigator. All right. So, Overgrown Tomb, plus another land, everybody draws from Jace, Cultivate for Damia, I draw into Phyrexian Arena. There's nothing really in, oh, no, you know what, there are some interesting things in Carador's graveyard, like, she, uh, he ended up having to discard some stuff, like Drana, I think Drana's in her, the graveyard. And, um... Aura Shards. Uh, that's just a good overall card. 
Uh, Corona has three artifacts. I don't want to lose Gilded Lotus because like everybody else has green in their deck and can either accelerate or is like using Junior's Kite to search up whatever land they want. I mean, I'm I'm drawing a bunch of cards, so I'm I'm playing all my land, but I just don't want to be lose my Lotus. Fierce Empath blows up his Gilded Lotus and searches up Sylvan Primordial, which we're going to put right here so we remember. Uh, Inexorable Tide has Proliferate, and he never, uh, this is from Corona, never actually did anything with it. There was nothing to proliferate the entire game, so I'm wondering what, the, what that was all about. Helm of Cauldra comes out. It's a nice promo one. So I attack, and I spread it out a little bit. I draw another card. It's Counterspell. I play Strip Mine. And then I Vindicate the Aura Shards because I don't want to lose the Gilded Lotus. I play Phyrexian Arena. And I keep up uh, Counterspell Mana. Stolen Identity. Copying my Mirren Crusader. And then everybody draws from Jace. Carador plays Bar Bear Umbra. And, like... Bear Umbra is, is problematic for two reasons. Um, one, being able to untap like that just abuses mana and stuff like that. And it would mean that he'd be able to play Sylvan Primordial. I, I countered it, and what I probably should have done is waited until the Primordial came out. But I just wanted to like push him off a turn before he tried to like get that Primordial out there. I'm not sure that was the best play right there. But he ends up playing Chromatic Lantern doing nothing. Okay. Uh, Phyrexian and Jester comes out and is going to eat my Marian Crusader, which makes me sad. And then gets Helm of Cauldra on it. Yeah. And goes to attack uh, Carador, but Carador uses Doomblade to get rid of it. Alright, so I draw another card. And right now you can't see it, but... Yeah, I ended up drawing into Jace. And, um... I know that I can source the Plowshares, the Mirror and Crusader, if it goes after Jace. So I'm not real worried about it. Um, there's not much out there that can really hurt him. So I Brainstorm... And I put Revoke Existence on top, and then I copy the um, Mirror Crusader with Sakashima. Uh, Damia ramps with Hunting Wilds, and then everybody draws. There's Revoke Existence. Underworld Dreams, actually, um, is a nice little card um, with the amount of ma cards that everybody's drawing. Uh, the Mirror Crusader goes after Carador. But what I didn't want was for him to actually connect and then start making multiple Crusaders. So I just sourced the Plowshare it, like, right then. Again, probably could have waited until something more threatening came out, but I just didn't want to wait. Uh, Bajuka Bog gets rid of my graveyard. Sakura Tribe Elder. And there's the Primordial. So I'm just going to have to eat it. And Jace dies. Both Jaces die and the Helm of Cauldron gets blown up. Um, Corona still searching up lands. And then returns to dust the Underworld Dreams and Chromatic Lantern. And then plays Crucible of Worlds, but there's no lands in her, her graveyard yet. So I draw a couple cards, and I attack, and I draw some more cards. Another card here. There's Duplicate. And I duplicate Sylvan Primordial to get rid of it. Because so, I don't want people copying it and bouncing it around all over the place. And then I play Half Dane because I figure, why not? Um, again, ne next turn I can Dead Eye Navigator uh, my Sakashima. Because this is actually Sakashima right here. Uh, so that I can copy something big and cool. Are you Sakashima? Yeah, you are Sakashima. 
And I, I've got a bunch of land in my hand right now, so I'm going to go ahead and just discard one of them. Uh, Damia's Ancestral Vision goes off. This is a long game. Like, everybody's still above 30 right now. I don't even know what turn we're in. We're at least in the 8th turn. <laughs> That's how many lands I've got out there. So Damia plays... Gaze of Granite, basically wiping the entire board. It's the first time I've actually seen Gaze of Granite used. So, it works out well. Blood Gift Demon comes out. And then Skull Clamp on the Demon. Recurring Insight on for Corona targeting me. So she's got a bunch of cards in hand now. She uses Thespian Stage to copy my Strip Mine, and I just Strip Mine it so that we don't have to worry about all that stuff. So first I Revoke Existence the Skull Clamp, and he sacrifices it with Alter's Reap. Right there. So that he can draw a couple more cards off it. And then I Demir Doppelganger, and I stick it out there. The idea is I can either uh, Doppelganger the... Uh, well, the Doppelganger gets murdered. Fine, whatever. So I end up copying the Sakura Tribe Elder and Carador. Um, Carador's Graveyard and sacrifice it to get another land. I'm holding off on Bajuka Bog until... Oh, yes. So this is... Stop, 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 stop. Uh, Deadbridge Chant, which puts a bunch of fun stuff in his... Graveyard, Manor Reflection, and Tooth and Nail, and Eternal Witness, and Mystical Teachings, and a whole bunch of goofy stuff, right? So I'm like, okay, well, I'm glad I saved my Bajuka Bog, because Carador hadn't been using his graveyard yet. And I was like, well, I'll, I'll Bajuka Bog Carador next turn or something. But now I'm going to use it on Dalmia, because the Dead Bridge chant is real frustrating and annoying. Carador. Everybody else has other plans. So Carador comes out, fine. And then Fierce Empath comes back and ends up searching up Runescar Demon. And then playing Awakening Zone. Recurring Insight bounces. Recurring Insight's a card that I haven't seen played recently. And there's Terminus getting rid of Carador. So now I don't have to worry about Carador at all. And I can go ahead and Bajuka Bog Damia without any worries. An Elixir of Immortality. Fine. Cryptoplasm. Oh yeah, so that Bajuka Bog. Uh, Cryptoplasm was in the deck. And I ended up figuring out that I forgot to uh, put Phantasmal Image in. So I took out the Cryptoplasm for Phantasmal Image. Cryptoplasm is not nearly as good as a uh, phantasmal image because it doesn't it can't give you the enters the battlefield effects. And I stick half a day in Mac out there just because I'm expecting some somebody to play something big and fat. Let's see. Damia plays Life's Finale. And he sticks a bunch of crap in my graveyard. Karmic Guide, Karen Wanderer, and Aetherling. And then uh, Dami also plays Rex and Arena. The problem with this is that Deadbridge Chant is going to give him back the life finale. So there's the Runescar Demon from Carador. And then he, used, he searched up Jared's orders. What he did was he... Um, searched up Demir House Guard and Carador and I think he put Carador in his graveyard which ended up getting exiled or something like or going to the command zone um, and then so Corona plays her own Sylvan Primordial Annoying, but whatever. 
Oh, Pact of Negation. That's right. So, um, Damia had Pact of Negation to counter the Sylvan Primordial. And then Amor, uh, Corona plays uh, Land Tax, which is always a good card. So I draw Time Spiral, and I like Time Spiral because it's going to get rid of Carador's Graveyard, and it's going to get rid of Damia's Graveyard, and I'm going to go ahead and play it. Hopefully, I draw into something good. And I do. I get Evil Twin, Phyrexian Metamorph, Shadow Mage Infiltrator, which I put out there, Quicksilver, uh, Gargantuan. Oh no, I copied, that's right, I copied... Uh, Rune Scar Demon with my Evil Twin, searching up Mana Drain. And then I have Phyrexian Metamorph, another Rune Scar Demon. And this time. This time I would go for Entomb, um, so that I can put, like, a Chroma in my graveyard for Body Double. Not really sure that was the best. I mean, I guess I could have, like, copied up another Tutor or. or or another clone and cloned another Runescar Demon. But I was fully expecting now that everybody had um, um, full hands to hit another Wrath or something like that. So Damia has to pay for the Pact. And the Dead Bridge Chant doesn't do anything. Far Seek for Damia. Yeah, and everybody's still above 30 life. You can see what I was talking about it here. Explosive Vegetation from Carador. Solemn Simulacrum. And the Demon goes after... I don't know. Not me. Um, Corona. And there's Merciless Eviction. I'm like, you know what, screw that. I'm going to Mana Drain that because there's a lot of mana behind that. Elixir of Immortality comes back for Corona. And she pops it again. So I go ahead and Entomb a Chroma. There's a Chroma. So I Body Double. And I get a Chroma. And then a right, Quicksilver Gargantuan, uh, another Runescar Demon. And I search up Rite of Replication. Okay, so again, like, I guess if I had, I, I don't know. I'm sure, like, I could have picked up some card draw or something like that. Um, but what I was hoping to do was use Rite of Replication, replication on the Runescar Demon. Uh, ideally kicked, but as you'll see, that doesn't work out. So I, I kind of spread it out uh, to Damia and um, Corona. First, Damia ponders, and then plays Time Warp, which is bad news with uh, Dead Bridge Chant out there. But he's he's like he plays far seek. I mean he's not really going strictly for the recurring uh time warp. And then Soren comes out and dings me, so I'm down to ten. I'm not too worried about it because I still got a pretty formidable defense here, right? Right? Deadbridge chant gets him back like far seek or something. Fine. But then Damia is gonna play Kozilek. Draw some more cards. And then preordain. And then I get hit with Soren's plus two ability. Soul Ring. And then they have to discard. And there's like a bunch of good stuff here. It's like Terracidon and Trigon Predator and Acidic Slime. So Runescar Demon comes back out and hits. Um, well, there's Merciless Eviction. Gets rid of all the creatures. Oh, that's right. So here's what happened. Right before that Merciless Eviction came out, and Damia was playing her turn, and I was worried about the time warp and stuff like that. 
I sent a private message to both Corona and Carador, and I'm like, listen, Damian's at 25, I've got 25 on the board uh, in damage with a Chroma and all the Reaver Demons. I'm like, if you leave me alone, I will go ahead and try and take Damia out. And Corona's like, great, because I'm out of answers. And the Curador player is like, hmm, well, let me think. And then they merciless eviction. Or Curador did. So, um, like, even if... I mean, if Damia was playing Fog, fine, you know, whatever. Um, but I had the chance to put a pretty big hurt on her. All right, so... Let's see. There's Liliana Vess, and she's going to tutor something up for Car Corona. And then she plays Dead Eye Navigator. She doesn't really have anything out there to navigate. So I got Ristic Study. I put Shadow Mage Infiltrator out there. So Deadbridge Chant gets like... Oh, the Time Warp. Yeah, he, he manages... Dalmia manages to pull the Time Warp. Cast it... Pays my Ristic Study tax. Like this, everybody else has been ramping so much that Ristic Study doesn't really matter as much right now. Damia plays probably Sylvan Primordial. Oh no, Diabolic Revelation. For four. So, ends up tutoring up four cards. And Animate Dead. Oh yeah, she tries. He tries to animate animate my Akroma, but because of Akroma's protection, it automatically falls off as soon as Akroma comes into play. So Deadbridge Chant gets something. I don't even remember what. Damia is gonna play Sylvan Primordial. There it is. Which takes out. Um, my Rhystic Study, and Liliana Vess, and Awakening Zone, and ramps Damia. And this is what, what ends up killing me in the end, is that Damia just has more ramp. Uh, she tries to write a replication, um, the Sylvan Primordial, but it gets, go for the Throated, and that, but that gets countered with Spell Crumple. So, Sylvan comes out and just destroys people um, with their mana bases and stuff. And the only good thing is that even after, like, my mana base gets hit, um, next turn I still have enough mana to c cast Rite of Replication uh, kicked on that on the Sylvan Primordial to blow up anything else out there. Uh, the problem with that is that I can't search up... Get rid of that. I can't search up uh, any forests because I'm not playing anybody. Any of them. So, Kirador plays Fleshbag Marauder. And then... Shriek Maw getting rid of another Primordial. And then Naturalize on Deadbridge Chant. Land Tax comes out for um, Corona. Must have missed Land Tax, but then Corona concedes. She was having lag or something. So fine, I'm going to copy Sylvan a couple times too, just to blow up stuff, like the Frexian Arena, and Reliquary Tower, and some mana, and I try to keep Carador off his black mana, get rid of Urborg, but again, I, I can't ramp, which um, really hurts me. And then Carador concedes too. So I gotta hope that uh the problem is he's got nine cards in hand. I only got one. Horizon Spellbomb. 
uh, Sheldred. So Sheldred is really uh, what's going to kill me because I'm at eight. Sheldred has Swamp Walk. Um, he's at 23. He he blows up like my watery grave or something like that. So I only have one blue mana now. And then Staff of Nin is going to help him draw. And then he, <laughs> I think he, obviously, I don't think he was really thinking about it, but he attacks with all the primordials. And uh, depending on what I draw, I guess I could have had a shot. But in all honesty, there's nothing I could have done here aside from like a wrath. Wrath would have helped me after attacking with everything. Um, but I got to sacrifice one primordial. I get lightning greaves. That doesn't do anything. He's going to block with Shouldered, which is going to keep him from dying. But it doesn't matter. Like, he attacks with everything next turn and I die. Um, so that's game. But anyways, you can kind of see what happens when when things get going well. You can copy some of the good stuff out there and... Um, you know, my my problem here was I wasn't playing green. <laughs> it was a good game. It was a lot of fun. It just took a long time. It was a long game. A real long game. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks.